hi everyone welcome back to my channel for another video natasha here coming at you with a different kind of video i've done a few of these before um but i have mostly been vlogging recently however i was a little bit stuck on what to film and then i thought Do you know what it's january it's a really miserable rainy sunday today i have just done my weekly shop got a great price on everything i've really shopped carefully got my blue light discount as well and i thought i'd just do a little grocery haul of what i got from asda one of my favorite supermarkets to shop at asda and aldi are my two main supermarkets and then i do also go to sainsbury's mostly for top up items not for like a full-on shop so if you want to see what i got in asda please keep on watching i've got three bags three well two biggish bags and then just a standard normal as the bag um i managed to remember all of my shopping bags today so i didn't have to buy any which is fab i'm just going to move the camera back you're currently balancing on my biscuit tin and a jar as well so this is quite risky business but let's just sort that out there we go okay fingers crossed no particular order i'm just going to literally pull things out of the bag um so first thing three pack of onions essential i think these were really cheap um making a chili tonight so that is essential and then running with the chili con carne theme i got some chili beans in the lovely chili sauce you can get obviously kidney beans in just water but when you get the ones in chili sauce it really makes the chili more tasty more flavorsome so i'd highly recommend upgrading yourself to these i've also got a bunch of bananas these were a 48p actually i thought that was good considering there's five there normally i'd pay like 70 or 80p in sainsbury's for five bananas loose like this so yeah really good for 48p i love to take a banana with me to work and have it on my morning coffee break um just a daily brew starbucks coffee with milk for my partner um these were 125 i thought for starbucks and these are quite a tall can i thought that was quite good so i got him that to try I need to put that in the fridge. Um, some boring household items. I got 20 bin bags. Uh, they're 75 litres and they're the tie top. I really like the tie top bin bags. So yeah, a really boring householdy product. Again, an essential. And then I also got some small bin liners for the bedroom bin and the bathroom bin as well. Because I like to have liners in those. And then I thought I'd try the cheaper... Um, version of some food bags i don't know if i'm going to get on with them but these were like a pound cheaper than just the normal ones and they were the last one left so i was like maybe that's my sign to just try these <laughs> in case i come back again and they're sold out again so yeah i got the last bag of clothes back to the chili theme i think this was like 250 but this is really good then buying all the little individual pots of things so i've got a tex-mex dip selection so you get chili cheese dip tomato salsa guacamole and sour cream and chive dip absolutely yummy there i forgot to get nacho like tortilla chips so i think my partner will get some of those i know mns do gluten-free ones for like the same price as just ordinary tortilla chips um I always like to stock up on tin potatoes because when I make curries, I add tin potatoes in. It thickens it up, gives it that extra like oomph to the curry. And then this was good. I think this is like three thirty-five. I got a five percent fat mince. Um, I think yeah, five hundred grams. So that's for the chili tonight. And I've already got rice in the cupboard. So that is the first bag down. Let's get on to the second everything's sweat because it's horrible and rainy so this was my bargain buy of the day i think kitchen towels so this is their shades kitchen towels really good just as good as like plenty if you go to aldi the i think it's called the ultra soak soaker that's really good as well this is meant to be 525 for four rolls and i got this for 375 two rolls was two pound fifty so if i got two lots of the two rolls I would have been paying five pounds but i've only paid 375 
So that's a good saving and I've got four rolls here. It's gonna last me a long time. These are going on the fridge. So what have we got next? I've stocked up on some free from spaghetti. This pack is so much bigger than the ones you get in Sainsbury's and this was a pound, which is the same as Sainsbury's. So I was really happy with that. And then I just got some of the Essentials range baked beans, like 36p, so I picked up two tins. It's always good to stock up on tins, keep them in the cupboard, especially in the winter or if you're not sure what to have. If you've got some sort of tin stuff, you can make any kind of recipe. Then for my lunches this week, um, I'm only working four days this week. Oop. So I've got four white gluten-free rolls. These were £1.40, which I thought was a really good price for gluten-free rolls. They're really soft and squidgy. Um, and I either, I probably two days I'll do ham and cheese with a bit of mayo and black pepper. And then the other two days I'll probably make up some tuna mayo with black pepper and do that. They're my two favourite sandwich fillings that I'm having alternatively at the moment. And then I would have just got one, but where it was two for 3 50 and they were like two... 25 each or something like that i got two just to save money and we always go through ham so i just got their finely sliced oven baked dry cured ham again in my rolls or if you're a bit peckish you can just have a slice so yeah that was a good deal i think um their cheese is quite expensive i'm not going to lie i think it's two pounds something in aldi correct me if i'm wrong but we always like to get the extra mature cheddar this was three pounds so to me that is a bit much for a 400 gram slab we always get that in aldi 400 grams so i'm not sure on the price comparison i should know it off by heart really but yeah i only got one block when I go to Aldi, I always get two because of how cheap it is, but we do really need it. So I thought I'd just get this one for now to last us. And then on my next top-up shop, I'll probably go to Aldi. Um, all the yogurts in there were really expensive. So I just got their own Essentials range, six fruit yogurts. These were like pound thirty, something really good like that. Um, three different flavours, strawberry, peach. Oh no, two, sorry. So you get three strawberry and three peach. I'll probably have the strawberry as Martin doesn't like strawberry yoghurt and he can have the peach ones because I'm not overly fussed on peach either. So that works out well for both of us. And then even their own salted spread was over £3 and I wasn't going to pay that. This was like one forty. It's just their own olive spread so I'm not going to pay double the price for a similar product. I love olive spread. I don't mind it. So I got that as a cheaper alternative as well. That is the second bag done. Third bag is the biggest and the heaviest. So I just got Martin. Oh no, it's going to fall. I just got Martin um, a multi pack of their variety crisps, the cheap version. These were really cheap as well, like one pound something. And then because these are actually gluten free and i really like these and they're not like classed as like a you know like when you go in the gluten-free section these are just in the ordinary crisp section section um they're the seabrooks cheese and onion i have got some beef ones that i bought in b&m yesterday but that was the only flavor they had these are like 135 for six packs um yeah cheese and onion seabrooks really nice I take those to work with me for lunches and then I treated myself to a golden syrup gluten-free porridge pot for breakfast tomorrow. Reason being is because nowhere has lactose-free milk at the moment. I don't know what it is. I don't know if anyone else is struggling like me. I can't find it anywhere. I go to Sainsbury's, it's sold out. It was sold out in Aldi and it was sold out in Asda today. Excuse me whilst I take that phone call. I'm back so yeah that was my gluten free porridge pot 70p for breakfast tomorrow my mum bless her she's going to try Morrison's and see if she can get my lactose free milk for me whilst I'm at work so hopefully they've got it um just got an essential some milk this is mostly what Martin uses I'll have a bit in my tea or if I'm having just a white coffee I'll have a small amount um but yeah just some semi skimmed four pints uh what else have we got in here oh this was on offer for two pounds um, it might be expensive to some, but it's caffeine free. So I've got Coke Zero caffeine free. I have been, don't know what it is. I never really drink fizzy drinks that much. Maybe if I'm going out and having like a social gin and lemonade. But I've been really craving Coca-Cola lately. 
um and i wanted to get the zero caffeine one so yeah i'm gonna put that in the fridge and i'll have a glass of that tonight with my chili con carne and these were a really good price these were i think a pound each little juice cartons no added sugar so they've all got the green at the front there so i've got apple and mango little cartons you get five in a pack and then i also got the apple and pear and those were like a pound each and in sainsbury's i think you only get like three cartons i think they are a little bit bigger but they're like one pound ten and you only get three so i've got five in both of those you can take those to work with me for lunches or have them sometimes i have them with my evening meal um then i got some gluten-free choco full um individually wrapped crunchy biscuits coated in deliciously creamy milk chocolate how good do they look these were like one pound 40 and they remind me of a rocky bar i'm always looking out for new snacks to be able to take to work um but these just look so tasty so i'm going to take one of these to work with me tomorrow and have a bit of a tea or a coffee but yeah i can't wait oh and they're only 96 calories per bar uh sugars are 8.5 it's quite high but do you know what let's live a little life is short and again it's january it's not the best month of the year let's be honest another chili con carne related but also a cupboard essential i've got four tins of chopped tomatoes these were one pound fifty which i thought was really good for four tins so yeah i'm just going to pop those in the cupboard and use a tin of those tonight for the chili con carne and then last but no means least i got myself another box of cereal for one pound fifty i got the as the free from gluten frosted flakes so obviously frosties just their own gluten-free version i normally get the um go free honey flakes from sainsbury's but i thought i'd try these ones out as my cereal is running low and i am just really into my cereal at the moment i kind of just eat what i fancy now especially whereas i'm quite i am quite restricted with what i can eat now with like being gluten-free i try and find all different alternatives cheaper alternatives i have been finding eating out hard because most places well not most but there are some places that are really limiting on what they offer or they don't offer anything at all um but yeah so i love having those for breakfast but that was everything i'm now just going to show you my new coat that i ordered from very it's like a really long sort of duvet coat um for the rain because i'm so fed up of like my legs getting soaked when it's raining like it is now so yeah i'm gonna unpackage that and i'll show you my coat so my coat is in this massive very bag here i'm very excited i need to be careful how i open this just in case it doesn't fit and i need to send it back so let's see how easy this is know what colour I got it in. I can't remember. Let's see. Oh I got it in khaki. Do you want men or khaki? <laughs> so I got it in khaki. Quite different for me. I normally just stay safe and always get like black or like a creamy colour but I thought I'd get khaki this time. So let's take it out of its packaging and see what it looks like out of the packaging and then i will try it on and see what that looks like oh i'm feeling static i hope i don't get electric shock oh okay wowza i am actually really impressed so obviously it's got a nice hood it's quilted so this is it here this is the arms and then it's got the tight cuffs there to stop any draft going up what I like about this coat is it comes with like a waist belt so you can tie it in and cinch in your waist so you don't just look like a sack of potatoes and it is very very long does it have pockets I don't remember if I bought it with pockets I'm just going to put it on and see what does it say if you remove me I am yours to keep love Chi Chi Oh, it's by Chi Chi London. I got it in a size 14 because I think size 16 and stuff lately has been quite drowning me. I have lost a bit of weight. Um, but let's see. This is a good test actually because I've got like a thick jumper on. Oh yeah, that feels nice. Let's have a look. 
Oh yeah. Oh my god, it's so long. It literally comes all the way down to my shins. I think my mum would be proud. I've actually picked a decent, sensible coat. But for me, it's all about keeping dry and warm. Oh my god, it's amazing. It feels really comfortable. Oh, it does have pockets. There's one there, and there's one there, and then they've just got like a little clip fastener. So I'm just putting it on like this. Really lovely and long. I really like it. So this is the waist belt, which you can tie up. Very nice too. Do that up. I haven't done all the poppers up as of yet, just because I'm simply trying it on. Wow. I'm going to take you in the lounge because there'll be more room in there and you can see it full length. So bear with me one second. Okay, I'm sorry if the lighting has changed and it's really dull. It is obviously really dark and miserable, but I'm just going to show you it in its full length and glory. Look. There's my feet. So it literally comes down to the middle of my shin. What a great lump. So here's the waist belt, here's the pockets, and then the hood. Oh, the hood's quite big. So yeah, very sensible, nice and warm. I actually really like the colour, and I'm obsessed with the length. It's really comfy. I like the arms, the arms don't feel tight or restrictive, so I really like this. Lovely. So if you are interested in this coat, if I remember, I will leave a link down below. Um, but yeah, look, it fits so nicely, I can't believe how long it is. So yeah, I love it. I just thought I'd add that on to the end of my food haul. But that is going to conclude today's video, so I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I got from Asda. My total bill came to £44, that was with my NHS um, blue light discount. I thought I did get quite a lot of shopping actually for the £44, so I'm quite happy with that. I've got a lot of home essentials, I've got some meat in there, yogurts, you know, all the dairy stuff. So yeah, super happy with my shop. Um, I just thought I'd film it because I sometimes like to see what people get and I like to take inspiration for meal ideas from people's food shops. I hope you did enjoy this video too. Let me know if you want to see more food shops when I go to other supermarkets. Let me know, let me know in the comments below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed as it really supports my channel. And also give it a like for the coat. I'm obsessed. I really love this coat. So yeah, I'll try and link it down below if I remember. And I'll see you all again soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.